What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to BB's Collectibles. My name is BB. And today I am bringing you guys another Dragon Ball Z related review. And also something I don't normally do on the channel is a Funko Pop review. This is the Pop Animations. So I'm assuming it's a little bit different. I believe the only Funko Pop related video I've done thus far was my um, zombie Deadpool bobblehead one. But yeah, should be exciting. I love Dragon Ball stuff. And Shinron, as you can see right here, is a very important part of Dragon Ball and itself. But before I get into the video, be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment down below. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. And if you enjoy the content, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and also hit the post notification bell. That way you are notified every time I make a new video. Now let's get into this unboxing slash review. Now this box is very big. Like if you can see my hand, well, my hands are pretty big, but like compared to the box, it's pretty big. It's so big I didn't want to put it on my wheel, my rotator, because it would have been too tall for my um, tripod to catch it all in frame. You can you can actually see my lights right here reflecting off the plastic. But yeah, this guy, he's a pretty big boy. But I think it'll look really nice if I find some way to put it in my Dragon Ball collection. Because right now I have them on like a floating shelf on my wall. So I'm not sure where I will put him. But let's take a look at the box. So, let me bring him a little closer. So you can see him in there. He looks really nice already. We'll crack him out in a moment. So I'm going to manually move this camera. Oh, there's my finger. Okay, you can see Dragon Ball Z. He is number 859 out of however many there are. There are lots. Of Funko Pops, you can see pop animation. You can see there's some Dragon Balls and some kanji. You know, we got the King Kai kanji, um, the different ones that Goku has worn on his geese. So, uh, lift this up. He's kind of bulky, he's heavy as well. You can see right here, this is a little shot of Shinron. It looks very nice. Shinron right here, the vinyl figure. A few warnings on here. On the sides, pretty much the same. You get a different angle of the Shinron right here. You can see him in the side window. And again, up here, it's got the pop animation. Turn it to the back. And you can see right here. Um, the other figures in the line, so we got Super Saiyan Gohan, Super Saiyan Goku, the first appearance. We got Majin Vegeta, we got Majin Buu, evil version. And I really dig the um, Kanji and Dragon Ball design on the back. It's really nice. It's a lot of orange, but it looks really good. You can see we got a little shot of Shinron. We got Funko down here, we got toy animation. Uh, on the side, this is nice. It's like a little white panel right here. You can see Shinron in black here. The pop animation. And it, like a little half shot of Shinron's face right there. Like he's peeking up. That's nice. And then 859 right there. Let's go back and readjust the camera real quick. But yeah, that's pretty much it for his box. This box is really big, but let's go ahead and get him out. No. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this, because like I said, it is pretty big. I got my knife right here. So I want to be able to show you guys. Oh, I guess there's no tape on him. Well, that's interesting. Oh, there's no tape on there. <laughs> I guess I didn't see that. 
also. Because I kind of wanted to show you guys me taking him out, but it's so big it won't even be in frame. I'm going to have to stand up. see the little um, Dragon Ball panel is right here this is nice I think I'm gonna keep this it's a nice little thing and I could use it for a background for a picture as like you know the little things before episodes they have the characters lined up it's nice um, here's a last little look at the box That was fun. Now Shinron, he's in this little plastic here. Let's go ahead. Oh, he looks so. That's that's nice. Okay. I just. Oh, that feels really nice. Oh, he looks really good on the camera. And in real life as well. Look at him. Now this is probably the part where I would need my rotator. However, it is currently under my desk, so I will have to do. Let me go ahead and bring it a little closer right here. Yeah, it it looks really, really nice, especially a scaling. It feels good, too. All right, so since it's a Funko Pop, there is no articulation, so we're going to jump straight into the aesthetics part of it Ooh. okay he's not as heavy as he was in the box and he doesn't actually look as big but I think it's still a good size so I guess we'll go top to bottom here I'm gonna try manually hold this right here starting with his horns they kind of look like tree trunks they look nice here. I really like the green they chose for him. Like, if I scoot it back. The green up here on the face and the whiskers and the side, um, I'm not sure what that's called. I'm going to say fringe, even though it's, I think it might be hair. And then this darker green for the body and the lower scalage. And the um the spine right here looks wonderful. Yeah, I like how the green is right here. And then the red, the red eyes is really nice. And how the red moves down the um sides of the body. It really like pops because you see green and then it just has like these really nice red streaks in it then the underbelly and right here the nice little beige color he looks really good on the camera I'm trying to adjust it for you guys so you can see it and then down here let me scoop a bit closer so I can lift him up you can see down here we have the Dragon Balls and if you watch Dragon Ball you know what these do but if not basically right here there are seven Dragon Balls and they're these little orbs and you can see they each have stars on them so you got the one star two star three star four star and so on until you get to seven. Yeah. And when you collect all of them, you summon Shinron. And Shinron is a mythical dragon that um, will basically grant you a wish or three wishes. It depends on what version of Shinron it is. But yeah. So, and the whole show is named after the Dragon Balls, so obviously they're significant in that way. 
But yeah, he. It's like it kind of looks like having a pet dragon. It's really nice. I like these whiskers as well. Yeah, but he looks so good. Um, I guess we could measure him just because. Let's see. To the top of his, the bump before the horns come out, he is about nine inches. And to the top of his horn, he is just, oh, camera shake. He's just under ten and a half inches. So he's a pretty big, um, I was going to say figure. I guess, yeah, for we can say figure. He is pretty big, he's very solid, and I like him. I'm not sure how I can put him in my Dragon Ball display. I think I will have another little area for him with some of my other Dragon Ball stuff. I'm thinking about making another area. I have a whole plan in my head. And whenever I finally set it up, uh, I'll show you guys. Yeah, I think you'll like it. But yeah. Doesn't he look great? I really like the green and the red, like I said. Oh, and this effect, like the yellow right here, it's just to symbolize him coming out from within the Dragon Balls. That looks great. And I guess if you want like a comparison, he's not going to scale. It's more just for an aesthetic look. He's not really going to scale with any figures. I'll just bring Krillin down here. Like you can see, he's not massive to where it would be like, oh, they summoned him. But like, as like an aesthetic look, like having characters around him, it would look really cool. And I'm pretty sure they have made like an enormous... Um, Shinron statue but yeah I think just for like the look it will look um really good mm, what's that actually let me see who else can I bring down just bring first form Frieza down here get him to stand like just to um symbolize I think he works in that way even though it is a Funko Pop um it still works and it still looks really good let me um know what you guys think but yeah I'm gonna put Frieza and Krillin back up here really quick Very convenient to have my um, Dragon Ball shelf right above my recording area. I would give you guys a sneak peek, but I'm not quite done organizing it yet. So, yeah, you'll have to wait on that a little longer. And also, well, if you wanted to have, like, like in scale with him... There are the world-class um, figures, the miniature ones. I reviewed some not too long ago. Let me just pull them over here. Like, if you wanted to have, like, a little, like... Bring it down. Like, if you wanted to have the little figures with him, which I think if I get more of the world-class figures, um, I might actually do that because I think it would look really good. And I want to kind of get a Goku and sit him right here, riding on Shinron's head. I think that would be a nice little um, display. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do, actually, if I get more of these little ones here. I'll have them with him. And there is another Shinron that I was planning on getting. And I'm still probably going to get. It's a Ben Presto one. And he can go with my other stuff. 
So yeah, I think that's a good idea. That's just an option if you guys wanted to, like if you did get this for yourself and you wanted to have some like, um, some sort of display options. Or you could just have him with your other Dragon Ball Funko Pops. That would probably make the most sense. Let's get a nice shot of him. Also, I didn't really talk too much about detail, but the scales, they feel really nice. Like, the ones on his head are really smooth. But then the ones on his body are, like, kind of rigid. And I like the distinction in the texture. It feels really, really cool. And if you wanted to know, the whiskers are smooth. And they are a little bit malleable. So I guess you could try. I'm going to leave it like this. But if you wanted it in another pose for some reason. Yeah, I really like this. I guess the only thing that is kind of mm, about it is down here the um connector piece right here that connects his body to the base mine appears to be a little chipped you can see some glue residue right in there but i'm not too bothered by it because you can't really oh my goodness that's bright he looks like he's glowing which is kind of fitting because he does glow when he's summoned. But um, like I was saying, it doesn't really bother me because you can barely even see it. Oh. But yeah, I really um, like this Shenron. And even though it is a Funko Pop, it looks the part to fit in my collection. So yeah, that's going to be it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys want to see more Dragon Ball related content, let me know in the comments. I do enjoy making it because um, I could pretty much go on and on about Dragon Ball related things. So if that's something you guys want to see more of, just let me know. But thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Um, like I said in the beginning of the video, please leave a like, a comment, and if you are new, please subscribe. It would really mean a lot. Also, hit the post notification bell. That way you are notified every time I make a new video. I will see you guys in the next review. Peace. Oh. <laughs> um... <laughs> I just had this thought. If you collected the seven Dragon Balls and Shinron offered you a wish, what would your wish be? Comment that down below. But, peace.